Alright, and we're back. It's your boy B with another episode. I ain't want to do episodes because that's not really like me. I don't like doing episodes. My whole thing is, is like, I see so many people start a series and then they fall off and then they don't do it no more. I try and come to y'all every, like, now and then with a video. I'm going to make sure this is like a lifetime thing. I don't want it to be a one time. You feel me? We're doing this for life. You feel me? Alright, so today our episode, we're going to be making... Actually, we're not making anything. I already have products that were bought. And we're going to be making them more, a little bit more durable, okay? We're going to make them a little stronger, okay? Some people don't advise of this, but look. For hood race car parts, this is what you can do. For the low, for the low, low. If y'all really need them, this is how you can do them. I'm going to teach y'all the right way. So today, we're going to be strengthening up my TK mount. Because if you own a 325XI, you understand that our TK mount, super cheap, is just normal as hell. I got it for like 20 bucks. That's just what they go for, even a really nice one. Uh, let's see if we can get the camera to focus on that. Yeah. Thank you, Lumix, for the autofocus. I appreciate these guys. All right, so long story short, as you can see, it's super simple. You can actually almost poke all the way through on some of them. You can see my finger coming through, but that's just how it is, right? Long story short, we're going to end up using a couple different things today. I got a motor mount, too, that we're going to be doing, the passenger side mount, because, you know, no one makes this in a poly mount. So this right here is not a hydraulic field mount. This doesn't have oil in it. That's the catch. A lot of these, when you buy them for the 325XI, they have oil in them. So I bought a non-hydraulic one. So this one is mainly rubber. The whole goal is, if you look inside of it, that's going to be the hard part. If you look inside of it, this like opens up to a whole nother pocket on the inside. I don't have a flashlight on me right now, but that's what I can do to help us out. I'm going to show you. Just so you can get a little peek on the inside. That's the one part that we're worried about. Alright, so if you look if you look in there, you can see almost to the back. Yeah, you see that right there? That one spot in the back of it. Oh shit. I had it better on this side. Yeah, you see that? How you can see all the way to that back liner in the back of there? Yeah, we're gonna fill all the way down there. That's the goal. We wanna fill these holes. Cause if you fill those holes, what'll happen is it'll be solid. I want this to be solid because we eventually want to launch the car and I don't want to break nothing. In a hydraulic mount, it's going to like absorb the vibration and not really help because then the motor will sink to one side and end up breaking that axle on that side. So this is preventative measure so we can go fast in an all-wheel drive BMW. And you guys that have newer BMWs, you may want to look into this because the XIs, they all have this. So this is going to be a fix for all the XIs. So just make sure you get a non-hydraulic mount and you can do this. I have the part number right here. And for each vehicle, it's going to be different, so I'll make sure to post it for at least for the E46. If you guys got an E90 or E92, whatever, you guys got to do that shit on your own, bro. I had to do this shit on my own, so you're going to do that part on your own. Like, once you get smart, you'll figure it out. The things we'll be using to strengthen the mounts today are going to be very simple, bro. Very simple. Today is brought to you by 3M. I don't know if they're going to sponsor me. I highly doubt they will. But we're using 3M window seal. If you know anybody famous on YouTube right now, like Boosted Boys, they use this shit. Boosted Boys, they rely on this. Like when I say faithfully, they rely on it, they rely on it. So if they say it works, let's find out. I'm going to have a before and after. So in this video, you're going to see me do the pour. You're also going to see me test it out on the vehicle. Unfortunately, where I'm at in Michigan right now, bummed as fuck, it's raining. I wouldn't went to work today. I should go to work. Maybe if I fill these, I'll go to work today and I'll still come back tomorrow night and then we'll put them in. We'll figure it out. Long story short, this is fast curing. It should work. I don't know exactly what the cure time is. I'll make sure to post it in the, like... You know, in the description box, we'll figure that out. I'm still trying to figure out if it actually has... Oh, shit. It don't really say. Nope. It don't say. But you know it's going to be different. Because for this, you would normally be drying a thin layer. But we're going to end up doing a thick layer. So it's got to sit. It's probably going to be 24 hours before that shit hardens. Alright, you guys. Let's get this shit going. We'll see how it goes. Alright. I'm not going to bore y'all. Right here I got some regular dish soap. I don't got to be the cleanest of environments because like you could have done this in a shop. Um, at home. In my kitchen. Okay. Only got a kitchen because the house came with one. Wish it would have came in the garage but it works. Whatever. Long story short. We got this. I do not have some sort of towel. So look. Thing is in here it's going to be deep inside the crevices around the sides. And it goes deep along the sides. It's like a built up motor mount inside of here. But it doesn't go all the way to the side of the metal cage. So what we're going to do, 
Okay, I'm gonna do this to get away. I'm just gonna go ahead, pour it around the edges, and kind of let it soak up. If you can clean a duck, you can clean a motor mount, okay? Especially if it ain't been installed on the car. Let the hot water get to going. I'm correct. Pouring out the bottom through the holes. So it has like drain holes for this. I don't really give a fuck about the drain holes because that's all gonna get closed up and then. Yeah, there we go. There we go. See them bubbles coming out? That's what you want. You want the bubbles coming. Also, it's gonna get hot too. So, like, you also don't wanna be like killing your fucking hand with this heat. Yeah. Rinse it the obvious way through the drain holes because if you rinse it through the drain holes, it'll help clear that shit up. Oh wait, don't need filter water. Killing my Brita filter for no reason. That don't mean I'm fancy, I just do that because this park has full of the water in there. Remember, you want to clean the mounts really good because prep is everything when it comes down to pouring urethane because it won't stick if it's not a clean surface. Like, it's a lot of debris from the factory when you get these mounts, even though they're new. Remember to clean them. A lot of people do this with old mounts and doing them with new mounts, so even better. Uh, yeah, if you want to pass me some of the, any of the boxes, or it can be a mom box. Alright, fuck it, yeah. <clears throat> I'm just I don't know if y'all tried this Mountain Dew yet, but I've been buying the shit out of this. It actually kind of tastes like Skittles. Mountain Dew, if y'all want to sponsor me, that'd be a good good looks, man. That'd be sweet. I'll rock that logo on the side of the drift car, bro. Hook it up. Long story short, the mystery flavor of this year for Voodoo was like... Bro, it's like if they mashed up all the Skittles, bro. I can't guess what flavor Skittle it is, but it's a Skittle. It's a Skittle again. Mountain Dew, I know y'all teaming up with Skittles. Quit playing with me, man. Quit playing. I know I got a Coca-Cola in my hand, but I fuck with the Mountain Dews on the heavy. Voltage is my favorite if you could send me a case. <laughs> but, skip all the bullshit. Things you're going to need, some masking tape. Reason why you're using masking tape, we want to protect the back half. Reason why we got the Mountain Dew box, they said that way we could use that as one side because the cardboard will peel off easier from this urethane once it dry. So we're going to use this to tape off edges and make sure it gets a good seal. And then I got this knife set. reason why we got the knife set is on that transfer case mount, how I showed you to go through. We're going to cut it all the way through so that way it will go through and it actually seal all the way from one side up. Hoping that one thing of this is going to be enough to do both. We're going to find out because that's all I can do at this point is pray on a wing and a prayer. We'll just do one at a time at this point because I'm not going to try and do both. Let's see. But in the meantime, I'm going to crack this right quick and get down a bit. Excuse me. There goes one. Almost there. Can you see through that? Yeah. Are you still recording? Yeah, I'm recording this whole time. You guys want to get a little closer on the end. Don't tell nobody.
That way you understand I'm not doing no structural damage to this. I'm just cutting through the little easy slits that I cut through. Because this right here wouldn't have cut through none of this actual rubber material. We would have definitely been here all day if I was trying to do that, you guys. Also, I'm going to show you guys how to install this mount too if you don't have the tools. That's going to be another thing I'm going to do. Do I know how to do it? I don't. If I make up a tool, I'm just going to make up a tool. But I've seen other ways that other people do it. I do not have no tools that I can cut into it. But we're going to see what I can do with what I got in my magical hands. That's all I got is these hands. They do a lot. Even if the car gets stuck in the air for a day. No, I'm just kidding. I can't afford to have my car down for another day. Let's see. That also had a sweet ass 4.6 too, that was pretty damn quick. I actually was with him when he drifted onto a fucking on ramp for a freeway. And didn't like, not know that sketchy shit where he like, just kicked his side and the ride back struck. I mean like, slid sideways all the way onto the on ramp. And entered the freeway and continued to grab the next gear. That was probably the funnest time ever. And then took me to fucking Cedar Point for a weekend. That was a fucking awesome time. Remember that. That was that split weekend shit growing up with my dad. I would be at my mom's during the week and I'd get that every other weekend to go hang out with him. And man, when I say he made that shit epic, he made it epic. It's probably where my car enthusiast side came from. All the fucking rides and Mustangs and shit like that. I'm surprised I didn't like bikes. My dad used to have like a little 1000 that was fast or shit. And my dad fooled you. That nigga likes going fast. He just old now. Shit's in my blood, yo. Come on, getting some work done. All right, so now, now it's completely hollowed out. See what I mean? Now it's hollowed out. And we can get to filling it. But before we fill it, we want to make something that's going to allow this to sit flush. <clears throat> yeah, so we could have went crazy and, and had a customer or someone found someone like RevShift to make us an insert. But now the problem is with having someone make an insert for this is remember that an insert can always be removed. I don't want this to ever have a chance of falling out or moving or shifting. That's why we're doing this poor ordeal. So now what we're gonna wanna do is I'm gonna take my cardboard, shout out to Mom Do. <laughs> uh, and it's not just going straight through. You get what I'm saying? No. <clears throat> Another thing you're going to do is also tape it around the edges so that way it doesn't just come through. That's another big part. Because we can always cut the edges of whatever pours through, but you don't want to have to. So, masking tape. Like I said. Probably should be trying to film everything I'm doing so you can kind of see what the hell's going on. This is specifically for you XI guys. This is you rear wheel drive guys. Don't have to worry about this. Everything y'all need to go drifting is right there online for 90 bucks for the whole set. If you wanted some cheap stuff or go to rev shift and spend the 180 bucks and get some nice shit. But no one out here makes XI specific stuff. So we're out here making it right now for us. Come on. If you need me to make you some, hit me up. I'll give you my email address. Alright, that's going that's exactly how that side is going to pour into it. If you wanted to, you can always put some around the side to keep it on there. But what I'm going to do with the side. My bad, y'all. The camera died. You know, I be working hard like usual, but now that we back in a spot and we about to be doing this, we gonna get 
right to it. So as you see, and I finished masking this up. That's going to be completely sealed. Now when that fills, that's going to fill all the way through, through and through, as you can see, all the way down to the cardboard on the other side, as you can see. And then on this one, we had to seal all the air pockets at the bottom. So it's got a couple of spots where it's like little breather holes. I don't know why there's breather holes when this is a solid mount because there's no fluid in this. But we're going to fill all the way to the bottom because this ring on the inside, it goes deep all the way into here, down here. You can see the bottom. So we're going to fill it so that way it has no movement and it stays solid the whole time. And this should never go bad nor break after this. So that would be sweet. All right, we're going to get this going. Don't be fucking playing with this shit. Don't be eating it, yo. It's toxic, yo. Toxic, toxic. Hopefully I can get these gloves off after I'm done. <laughs> if I can't, shit, I'll just be picking that shit off for a week. It's just top layer skin. You be alright. Be alright. Smoke a pack of cools. <laughs> Uncle Barry yeah. tell you to do that. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> get you one of them cool. Them cool miles. You be alright. Yeah, once you off the phone, just let me know, because um, it'd be nice to have an extra hand. Oh, here, let me call you back. Yeah, if you can have an extra hand holding the part for you while you're doing this, it'd be fucking amazing. Just so you know, that or put the shit in advice. It's totally up to you. Whatever you have at your disposal. I'm in my living room doing this. With the baby trying to get fed and everything else at the same time. What about O'Reilly's? Oh, they think got it. Let me check. Check and see what time they close. Did you manage to do that? I don't know. 
Hold this real quick. Hold this. Mm. Hold it right there. I just made it they're all close right now. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. What about Walmart? Or I mean, Meyer? I already, I already went to Walmart. What about? didn't have it. Meyer? Mm -hmm. You want me to call them and ask them? No. Here, hold this. Right mm -hmm. Trying to save as much of it as I can. Because if I can save some of it, I'll just use this and push it back through. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Isn't there supposed to be a silver thing on the end? I thought that's what it was pushing through. Mm -hmm. I thought there was a cap. I don't know. I don't use that. I thought that's what it's pushing through right now, ain't it? And that's what it's pushing through? No, I thought there was like a backing on that. There's not? I don't know. This. That's where that's what you're seeing. I'm wiping off right now. Oh. You want to try to scoop it in there? I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Do you got like a little scoop? Do you mean like just force it in there? something to scoop it in there with. Had enough left, yes. You hear me? You said you had enough left. Yeah. It just wasn't working in the caught gun, so I had to do this the manual way. She know I'm a man, so I would do it the manual way. I don't give a fuck. I'm literally pushing it down and it's pushing itself back out on the other side. <laughs> That's how you know you had enough. Girls don't do that when they had enough. Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> it's not a kid friendly joke. Don't want to tell them on YouTube. Oh, well, it's mostly adults watching. <laughs> oh, dude, that's crazy. There was enough there. Hey, I have a text my nephew. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fuck your fingernails. Why? Because of that stuff. That was the only thing I'd get it off? Uh, semi. That's fine. The rest of this is just for beauty purposes. I'm gonna clean them all up before I show you. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna end up having to use the same stuff on mine. Shit.
You gotta let those sit, right? Yeah, for about like a couple hours. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna shorten up this video as much as I can as possible. But as you can see, after all is said and done, this is where we're at. Got all that extra excess cleaned up. So, here. You know what? Let me flip this so I can see better to be able to better help you guys. And that's solid. Like, when I say, when you see me in the video, like, pushing it down to the bottom... I literally had to push it in there flush until it was pushing out the other side. I only had a little bit left in the tube. So now look, realistically, one tube will only do one motor mount. But it's so much left in the tube, you just got to dig it out by finger because the caulk going won't go any further. We used literally the last of what we had left in that caulk. Because we're some caulk and mother... Ha, I can't say that on YouTube because I'm like, get banned. But you know what I mean. We were getting shit done. This one is actually really awesome. Almost look like it's a legit poly mount. So yes, it's filled all the way to the bottom. So when we pull this apart on both sides, it should look lovely. I'll show you all the finished product. I'm going to let these sit for the full 24 hours. <clears throat> maybe even 12, all depending on how hard it feels tomorrow. You know, it's all about how hard it feels. That's really the biggest part. You want it to be hard. So the wobble test is going to more than surpass. I don't expect this to move at all because it's filled all the way to the bottom. I mean, like... You can even see it was trying to seep through the bottom on the tape. So when I say this is full, this is full too. So I'm going to see how they hit on something special. I'm going to edit this and then get this all together for you guys and get it right. And then I'll give you all a review of what it's like after installing them and see how that goes. And also I'm going to show you the clip on how to install this T-case one. That's going to be the catch. It's going to be a long video, so be ready.